Hey everybody and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm your host Scott Ramps. And I'm also your host Noel McFloy. Good morning. That was ASAP Adonai on piano. ASAP, what song was that? That was the intro to Sleepy Time Down South. Oh nice. Yep. <laughs> it was nice. It made me feel like all chill. Like, yeah. Oh. Yep. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, well, it is Friday. And TGIF. We have, yes, and we have a lot to look forward to the weekend and all of next mm -hmm. week with the Big Sky Documentary Film Festival. Nicer happening. weather. It's uh, peaking this weekend. Yes, it is. Um, yes. We're going to have some nice weather. Uh, we have uh, mm -hmm. the first official premiere of this year's Flagship Friday. Ooh. Ooh. Can't wait. Could Who's it featuring? Hell in high school. Awesome. Yep. Okay. We have uh, some new programs on tonight featuring ASAP Cafe, of course. Uh, yeah. We have a little, yeah. little bit of plug in of ASAP open air. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like let's talk about a little bit of weather. Of course, Great. there is a winter advisory warning until the end of our show this morning at 9 a.m. Um, of course, uh, you have some scattered rain showers happening. But of course, your high today is going to be 45 degrees. And they say in the newspaper it's going to be partly cloudy with a 20% chance of rain. Um, Saturday you have a 40% chance of snow. Saturday night it's partly cloudy and then Sunday it's going to live up to its name by being partly sunny with cool. the night being some snows. But what does that mean for the snow report? It means excellent things for the snow report, you guys. So within the past 24 hours, most of our local ski hills have got in um, a bunch of snow. So you guys take a look. Whitefish has got three inches in the past 24 hours. Blacktail uh, ski, er, Blacktail Mountain has got five inches. Um, Snowball's got zero new inches. Lost Trail's got six new inches, and Discovery also has zero new inches. So our snow report is looking pretty good. As always, the lower and upper base depths usually range around the same. Yeah, but, and if it's, you know, raining down here, it's snowing up there. And I did hear it started snowing at Lost Trail at midnight last night. Nice. Yeah, so lots of snow. Get lots on up snow. there, you guys. Yeah, it's going to be a great weekend. But of course, uh, this is some of the stuff that are trending in um, the news. Ooh, Google Ooh. Trends, nice. But of course, I looked at Google Trends, and the top trending stories is Adidas and Kanye West. Of course. Uh, number two is Grammy Awards, Adele and Ellen DeGeneres. Ooh. And uh, number three is Rihanna, Puma. Yeah. Sweet. Puma, I think, is like the shoe. The shoe, yeah, mm -hmm. the shoe, and then Rihanna, like the woman. But of course, the <laughs> top trending things on YouTube is um, Ew. Jen Ew with Jennifer <laughs> Lopez, which is a, a, a thing where Jimmy Fallon dresses up as a woman and as a teenage girl. girl, not just a woman. He dresses up as a teenage girl, and it's like a talk show, and it's all the gross things. Yeah. And so and this <laughs> one was with uh, Jennifer Lopez, and they're having a talent show. <laughs> and then of course, there's a uh, weird popcorn um, topping taste test with his gross. chocolate on cornball. That's yeah. That's these good. are the top. Searches on YouTube. Trust me, I don't know why people are looking at this stuff. Then there's Roblox on Xbox, so it's a guy who basically is like PewDiePie or does video game stuff. So, have you guys ever? I don't know if you guys have <laughs> ever watched the video game stuff, but it's pretty disturbing. Mm -hmm. And of course, he, these are the uh, top searches on Google is National Drink Wine Day. What? When is that? Uh, yeah. Was that yesterday? No, oh, I missed it. <laughs> Turn. And then Adele <laughs> is number two. Uh, and then there's NBA trades. And of course, Jared Allen from the Carolina Panthers announces retirement. Great. <laughs> nice. Well, that sounds like a lot of really good Google trends going on and things happening in our community. Not in our community. Yep. And we do the have local. some new programs on tonight, starting with the uh, Martin Luther King Day celebration that happened uh, a whole month ago. But uh, this is uh, this is the folly of MCAT where we <laughs> usually run programs uh, a, a month, month later. Uh, or so later. So this yeah. is the Martin Luther King Day celebration, which is going to be starting at, I want to say, uh, yeah, 7 p.m. tonight. And of course, from 7 p.m. all the way throughout the rest of the night, it's going to be a bunch of new programs featuring ASAF and the Book Festival, another part of the Book Festival. Nice. The part 17 of the uh, Montana, Montana Book Festival, not Montana Festival of the Book. Never ending series. Yep. So without further ado, and here is a new program that's happening tonight. And when we come back, we're talking about Big Sky Documentary Film Festival and events that are happening in the Missoula area. All right. And our first place winners this year are, in K through second, Benjamin Reed, third through fifth, Emma Casho, sixth through eighth, Chloe Long, and ninth through twelfth, Savannah Koshel. Koshel? Yeah. <laughs> Whenever he leave, and one day he was feeling really good, so he left home and brought a brand new piano home. 
That's how you started playing. That's how the whole thing started. That's how the whole thing started. And my mom, wow. my birth mom, had a fit after she called him every name in the book and cried for a while <laughs> because oh boy. nobody knew anything about the piano. It was brand new. I mean, we're not talking used. My dad went out there just for whatever reason bought a brand new piano and brought it home. Wow. Um, pretty much my whole adult life I feel really strongly about commas. I am in favor <laughs> of, of the serial comma and I will defend it to, to the death. Um, copy editors are the great unsung heroes of publishing and, um, and and we should all be very grateful for their <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you guys. This is what's going on in your community. So, starting, yeah, so like Scott said, it's a bunch of Missoula events, like local stuff that, you know, is going on all the time and I talk about. But also, this weekend starts a Big Sky documentary, documentary Film Fest. And they have um, all the videos, all the movies that they're showing online. So I'm going to talk to you guys about it, mostly on Saturday's events. So for today, it's just general stuff going on. So starting at 9.30 uh, over at the Missoula YMCA, they've got their family fun time. This is for, uh, if you've got a membership, it's free. And if you don't, it's $17. And they just have like a bunch of activities for kids and then nice comfy chairs for adults so they can chill and watch the kids and chat. Yeah. Over at the Missoula Art Museum, um, they have got a kind of like an artist talk. Uh, the artist is named Jazine Jan. Ja Jansen, which is kind of a hard name to say. She's got so many different Z's and I's and G's and S's, I don't know. Okay, so, but over at the Missoula Art Museum, Artist Reception and Gallery Talk. Um, and so the exhibit combines two Bozeman-based artists, Jazine Jansen's bodies of work that use river imagery to explore the passing of time and elusive qualities of memory. So they're putting up her show today. Um, and then, the artist reception and gallery talk isn't until March, but her show is going up today. So you can go and buy there and check it out. Uh, also over at the Missoula Art Museum, they have got a, it looks like a small exhibit is also going up today. Um, Modern Ceramics from the MAM's personal collection is going up at 10 a.m. And so it features um, three grande dames of Montana modernism. So it'll be ceramic works by inspiring artists, teachers, and scholars. Pretty cool. Over at Green Ribbon Books, there's a book sale fundraiser for the Watershed Education Network. Um, so they, their mission is teaching river ecology and watershed health appreciation and awareness. Over the Missoula Public Library, we have Tiny Tales, our uh, classes for babies ages birth through three years, and they sing songs and learn finger plays and nursery rhymes. Family Story Time is also going on in the Missoula Public Library at 10.30. It's a theme story time on the Dragon Rug, which may include songs and an art activity. Art series is going on at the Children's Museum of Missoula from 11 to 11.30. Uh, they learn about art through art history and projects. At Spectrum Discovery Area, the Discovery Bench is Van de Graaff Generator. Brain Lab is Fruit Fly Fun. And then, uh, like I said, at noon today, Big Sky Documentary Film Festival starts. You can go to MissoulaEvents.net to find out all the movies that are going on today. And then, like I said, I'll talk to you about tomorrow's movies. Yarns is going at the Public Library at noon. This is where all those knitters and crocheters to get together and gossip and eat some lunch and knit and crochet. Sounds crazy. Over at the Missoula Art Museum, uh, they've got a lot of stuff going on there today. They've got the Missoula Art Museum Art Guide training, and so you can tour the new Jazine Jansen exhibit and celebrate the accumulation of other successful um, exhibits with fine beverages and yummy treats. Um, and so if you're learning, interested in learning in volunteering at the MAM, uh, and want some more information, you can come to the training. But if you want to call someone and find out more, just call 728-0447, extension 228. Teen Writers Group is at the Missoula Public Library at 3.30. And then also at 3.30 over at the Zootown Arts Community Center's Comic Club. Um, it was an after-school program. Uh, it started the 5th, but I'm sure that kids can still drop in as they want to. And so a 10-week program, students create single and multi-panel cartoons to be included in the Zootown Arts Community Comics Volume 2. So emphasis, emphasis will be placed on character development, inking, environment, storyline, using graphite, um, and lots of different things that relate with comics. Yeah. So $106 for members, $150 for non-members. 
Yeah. And then, like we heard uh, t- from our friend last week, Kristen Sackett from the Missoula Downtown Association, sixth annual Winter Brew Fest starts tonight at Karis Park at five. Uh, Twelve dollars includes glass and two tokens, and additional tokens are two for three bucks. <coughs> um, and then they, for music, they have Ted Ness in the Rusty Nails and Off in the Woods, and then they've got a couple of uh, food carts. Over the Radius Gallery, there's a talk by Stephen Gluckert at 5. He's discussing his kinetic sculptures from 5 to 6. And we've got some music for tonight. Traditional Irish music at the Union Club at 6. Hard and Scott Band at the Montana Distillery, also at 6. Hmm. Uh, at the Stensrud Sten- Playhouse, they've got a Zootown Improv, Women Behaving Funny. Starts at 6.30, I know. That should be great. Yeah, as well as uh, Get Up, Stand Up at the Stensrud. So it's improv, sketches, pizza, and a full bar. Sweet. There's a cheap date night at the Missoula Public Library at 7. Um, and then over the E3 Convergence Gallery, uh, country singer Shane Klaus is having a benefit or is there for a benefit for Chicks and Chaps. He is going to um, be playing music alongside with another uh, good old country bluegrass star. I mean, she likes the old music, but she's not old herself. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Cash for Junkers is at the Union Club at 9.30. Crawford Brothers Band is at the Sunrise Saloon at 9.30. We have Swamp Ritual, Stone Elk, and Wizard at the Palace at 10. I'm pretty sure that's um, metal, and it's only $3. That's what's going on in your community. Up next, we've got a staff segment. Okay, now this is going to be kind of an interesting story, what we're going to talk about for our guest today. Our guest, Charles Harvey Goddard, known to the world as Mark Goddard. Mark Goddard is an American actor who starred in a number of television shows throughout the 60s, but his most famous role, perhaps even the most iconic role, is playing Major Don West on a TV show called Lost in Space, the original Lost in Space. (laughs) There we go, okay. And see very handsome Mark Goddard there. That's what he looked like in his um, heyday, and this was before he was on Lost in Space, some of these earlier pictures. Um, Anyway, his career started in 1959. Three weeks after he went to Hollywood, he landed his first role on a television show called Johnny Ringo. And if we have that clip, let's show him in action. This is a character, his name on this series was called Cully. He was the deputy to uh, Johnny Ringo. And uh, these guys are always so lightning quick on these westerns, especially this guy right here. He took on two guys, as you can see. (laughs) Well, you're either quick or you're dead. (laughs) Yeah, you know. (laughs) So, but uh, Mark Goddard was, uh, well, he still still does um, appearances now and then. But um, he's done a lot of character, television shows. Now there's not a lot of awards because they didn't have like awards in the sense back in those days. They just had like a lot of television shows. And he was friends with Chuck Connor. Chuck Connors from The Rifleman. Chuck Connors advised him to change his name from Charles to Mark. And that's how he became known as Mark Goddard. And then it worked. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. And he did a television show in 1960 called The Surprise Party. Uh, He's done um, another series, the DuPont Show series in the 1960s. He did a television show called See the Elephant for ABC. Just a lot of westerns and things like that. And so tell us about the Lost in Space that he did. Well, when he was cast for Lost in Space, that show went on from 1965 to 68 for three seasons. And he played uh, the pilot to the Jupiter II. See, originally their mission was to go to Alpha Centauri and colonize that planet because the Earth was too crowded. (laughs) But Dr. Zachary Smith sneaked on that ship to try to sabotage (gasps) that. And he programmed the robot to destroy the Jupiter II eight hours after flight. But just when the ship was taking off, Zachary Smith gets trapped in there. Uh So he decides he doesn't want to die in space. So he wakes up the crew and he has to confess what he did. That's how the series started. And there's Guy Williams on the right. He's the uh, leader and uh, John Robinson. But um, Mark Goddard will always be associated with this show, even though he's done shows like Mod Squad, The Fugitive, Fall Guy with Lee Majors, 
um, Adam 12, you know, all these other shows of the past, he'll always be forever linked with play, ma playing Major Don West, even though he was lightning fast on Johnny Ringo. <laughs> Some people, you know, they get a, a, what do you call it, a character on a television show and it sticks with them for the rest of their life. Yeah, and totally. That's what happened in his case. And then finally, nice. um, 30 years after going to college because of his television career, he finally got his master's degree from Bridgewater State College. Oh. So it's never too late to go to school. No, never. <laughs> Especially after a promising acting career. Well, yeah, he had quite the career. And he does appearances with June Lockhart every once in a while and does interviews. Is he but, still alive? Uh, yeah, he still oh. is. He is, uh, I believe he is 79 now. Wow. Cool. So he's just... Had a fun life doing all these television shows. Sweet. Thanks, Asa. Sure. Hey, that was Musical Notes with Asa Fat and I, and we'll be right back after this. Are back. We've got some stuff going on for tomorrow. Okay, so um, it's pretty much my events for tomorrow are pretty much just like some things, but mostly the movies that are going on. Cool. So starting at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning is Snowshoe and Soak, ladies only. Aww. So ladies, you can meet at Kearns Aquatic Center at 9, and then you guys all drive up to wherever they want to go for hot springs, and then you snowshoe around, and you do some soaking. I do this thing where like if there's a a ladies only thing, I purposely go there just to creep all the women out. So whack. I mean, I get a bag of potato chips in the corner and just go, oh. Don't oh. say anything, I don't say anything. They just like talk to me, and I'm just like look, staring. <laughs> like, not even staring at them, I'm just like kind of staring off into space and eating those Is chips. Is that guy okay? <laughs> like, Are you okay? Is You're so lucky they haven't kicked you out. Or and, I don't, you and, out. and you don't even see me chew. It's just like I keep my mouth slightly open, and then I just, Put it in like a so credit card. Weird. It's like, <laughs> so weird, Scott. <laughs> and I'm sure those women are like, okay, now do we beat him up right now or is he handicapped? What do we do? <laughs> exactly. How do we approach him? <laughs> well, it would be a hate crime because they would hate me. That's why they ask. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's a hate crime because <laughs> they hate you for doing that. It happens. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Oh my God, tell me what to do. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Over at the Lifelong Learning Center at nine thirty at nine thirty in the morning tomorrow is that you and your kids baking muffins and vanilla pudding. Yeah. Uh, the Missoula Winter Public Market is going on at the Hive at 10 a.m. And then over at Kearns Aquatic Center, uh, they have a cross-country ski classes, women's intro to Nordic. So it's uh, Ladies' Day over the Currents today. So you can uh, go on down there, and they're going to focus on technique, trail navigation, and tips and tricks of Nordic skiing. So bring lunch, water, and appropriate clothing. Uh, it's $22, and with a city card, it's $20. At the University Center Ballroom, they're having a Montana Brides and Grooms event, 2016. Um, and so it's pretty much the wedding event that helps you check off all of your uh, to-do lists for your wedding. Sounds great. Um, okay, and then now we start talking about some movies. So at the Crystal at 10 a.m., um, we there's a movie called We're Still Here, Johnny Cash's Bitter Tears Revisited. And it's about um, the contra... It's about... Oh, let's see. Okay, so... 
It chronicles the 50th anniversary recording of Cash's cro- controversial concept record, Bitter Tears, The Ballads of the American Indian. Mm. Cool. I think it's also about country music as well. Um, and then also at 10 a.m. at the Wilma, it's called Indian Point. This looks at nuclear power by going inside the core activities at an aging nuclear plant and posing the simple question, is this safe? <laughs> it's like uh, it's like the documentary is. It's like, okay, documentary crew, and they just walk in. Do you feel safe? Yeah. Mm, I feel pretty safe. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a movie. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. The end. <laughs> well, million dollars, thanks. <laughs> well, um, they probably got money from a Kickstarter to do that. Oh, I'm sure. I feel like all these movies, you either have to be like, have your own money that you've made yeah. because oh, you're old, or else you this, um, this one kid does uh, goes um, for my flagship the other day. He told me that he got $2,000 for crowdsourcing money, and he says he's making a movie in Montana. What? Uh, yeah, and he got like a, he got $2,000. Oh. And, he, and he basically told me, he was like, people fund anything. Gosh. You just have to ask. We should fund we should do us. That. We should do that. We uh, Actually, we should probably should do that, like a, 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 a fund sourcing and just promote our zombie camp. Mm-hmm. That'd be great. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Also, uh, at the Roxy at 10 a.m., movie called Cairo and One Breath. Um, and I'll read you guys the synopsis. The Adhan is a Muslim called a player recited at the Muezzin at a mosque five times each day. I'm sorry, if I, I know I didn't say that right. Um, after 60 generations, thousands of individuals are being replaced by a single Muiz. It's M. I don't know how to say it. I just don't want to offend anyone. Okay, voice broadcast from a radio station. So Cairo in one breath follows Moise Muzzins from when they first heard rumors rumors of the Adnan Unification Project through its implementation, which since 2010 has displaced thousands. Check it out, you guys. I don't know what any of that means. It sounds so obscure and just, I don't know. But it sounds great. Okay, uh, at the top at lounge at 10.30 a.m., they have got a uh, movie called The Record Man. And so it's pretty much a story of how a small group of musical underdogs from Miami, from Miami with raw talent and diverse backgrounds, led by a charismatic Rick U executive, exported their unique beat and sound to the world. And they're also in charge of um, making disco. Wow. So, yeah. Um, at the Over at the Missoula Insectarium, this is not a movie, but they're, uh, you can become a bug and build a home. They're learning about all their different variety of building techniques that arthropods use. I can't wait for their dung beetle exercise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, over the Rocky Mount, Mountain Elk Foundation at 11 a.m., they have got a kid event, and it's, they're talking about birds. Learn about animals, play games, use their laser shot, and explore the visitor center. It's called Ornithology? Ornithology? Birds? Yeah. I have no idea. Mm. Birdithology? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's like a really fancy word. I'm sure it is. It's super fancy. Yeah, that we don't it's, know. Like, there's a super fancy word for bird watching. They, they don't call themselves, it's like ortho... Hmm. All, it's not, yeah, it was something like that. Weird. I don't know. It's crazy. Sounds crazy. <laughs> Um, and then at 12, over the crystal, they've got a Big Sky Document Film Fest Shorts Block 1. So these are all the short movies that are like three, four, five minutes long. Um, and so one of them is called The Tsunami and the Cherry Blossom. Next one is The Smell of Cedar Steeped in Rain. And the third one is Maiden, Maiden of Deception Pass, Guardian of Her Samish People. At noon at the Roxy Theater, they've got a movie called Chicago Girl. Uh, this is about a American teenage girl who uses social media to coordinate the revolution in Syria. At the Wilma at noon, they've got a movie called Hunting Wartime. It profiles Tilnit, a uh, veterans from Huna, Alaska, who saw combat during the Vietnam War. At noon at the Wilma, the Montana Sessions is a collection of short films featuring some of Montana's finest music- musicians performing in beautiful outdoor settings across the state. Oh, and this next movie is super cool. So it's at the Top Hat Lounge tomorrow mor- tomorrow at 1230. It's called Sill Johnson, Any Way the Wind Blows. So this guy was like the second rate funk musician. And he performed with like a lot of great bands, uh, recorded with a really big record companies. But despite all this successful things he did, his music wasn't really that successful. And he remained largely unknown and his career ended in the 80s. But he is also the number one sampled musician of all time. Like, and NWA, uh, Tribe Called Quest, um, Wu Tang Clan, Wu Tang Clan, yeah, all these different, and Run DMC, Public Enemy, Jay Z, Kanye West, all these artists have used his music. Even so, it's it's all about his life and the profile of that, which I just think is so interesting. 
So that should be pretty cool. At 2 p.m. at the Roxy Theater, it's called You and Me. Um, a 70 year old widow and her young maid live in isolation in a house in Santo Domingo where they have domestic chores to keep them occupied. Their relationship is tense, but at the end of the day, they know they only have each other. Aww. I know, that's kind of crazy too. Uh, 2 p.m. at the Roxy Theater is called Ever the Land. Explores the sublime bond between people and their land through a landmark architectural undertaking by one of New Zealand's most passionately and independent Maori tribes. Hazard's Cure is playing at 2 p.m. at the Wilma. It's a humorous and insightful portrait of Clint Batchel, heavy metal drummer and emerging graphic artist. Uh, and then we have a play going on at the MCT, Snow Queen. At three, they've rewritten a whole script. Yep, they're so it's they're not... definitely capitalizing on the uh, uh, Frozen movie. Yeah, so and it's... by making their own stuff. The MCT mm -hmm. does this all the time. They rewrite, yeah, they take old classics and then rewrite the script, so they don't have to pay anyone. Because the Snow it. Queen is in the public domain, and Disney took from the Snow Queen and made this idea Frozen. Cool, yeah. And then of course MCT. That's the same thing MCT did with Peter Pan, mm -hmm. Aladdin. Uh, yeah. Little Mermaid, they've, yeah. they've done a lot of great kids plays. This is the children's theater section yeah. of it where they teach a lot of kids some acting and um, team building skills. Mm -hmm. Yep, Scott would know. He's been through lots of them. Mm -mm -mm. He's a little MCT kid. <laughs> oh, I'm not MCT kid. I'm like more of an MCT adult. Now you are, yeah. Yeah, I only started when I was like 22. Oh, okay. I never started when I was in high school or a kid. MCT adult. I was all about the MCAT. Yeah. <laughs> Just like our teens that come in now. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Adorable. <laughs> Okay, we're going back. Okay, so uh, the champion is at the Crystal Theater at four. Um, a quarterback named Michael Vick had a dog fighting ring, and so forced to fight for their lives, uh, the odds were stacked against the pit bulls that were rescued from his dog fighting ring. But many of them wanted them euthanized, but none, no one could have predicted how the dogs would change the lives of those who risked everything to save them. Oh. And I love pit bulls. Pit bulls are my favorite breed. So this just hits home. I. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, at the Wilma Theater, it's called The Crash Reel at Five. It's about a, a Olympic snowboarder who is uh, rivals with Sean White, and it's about him like working on a new trick to, for the Winter Olympics. You can't beat Sean White. They're, they were BFFs, and then now they're arch nemesis. <laughs> well, according to him, not Sean White. No, they're. I don't know. <laughs> who, care, who cares? Uh, the Legend of Sweet Pea is at the Crystal Theater at six. This is a New York City basketball prodigy Lloyd Sweet Pea Daniels embarks on an improbable comeback that cements his reputation as a flawed hero and the greatest playground legend of all time. Awesome. A uh, movie called Catching the Sun is through the stories of workers and entrepreneurs in the United States and China. Catching the Sun explores the global race to lead the clean energy future. Cool. Oh, this next one is really cool. The Witness starts at 8 at the Crystal Theater. So 50 years ago, this woman was stabbed to death outside of her apartment, and 38 people witnessed it, and no one did a single thing. Wow. He, she was stabbed, and then he left. And then he, he left for like 20 minutes, came back while she was trying to crawl for help, stabbed her and raped her. And a bunch of people wa which watched it and no one did a single thing. Wow. And so it's kind of like about like like the mob mentality of people like not stepping in and not helping when something's going wrong. Um, and then also, yeah, being too scared. Yeah. And then like why, why they didn't do anything. So I honestly hope that Donald Trump doesn't go by his word and shoot somebody on the street. <laughs> Remember when he said that? No, I don't. No, Donald Trump said, like, I can go out on the street and shoot somebody and my numbers would go up. And you know what went up? His polls went up after he said that. So awful. That's the kind of mentality yeah. that we live in That we nowadays. have right now. Yeah, it's awful. It really hasn't really changed a lot. No, it hasn't. Yeah, so her brother made this movie, and it's about, like, what happened later and why no one did anything. Um, and then the last movie, which I've got a trailer for, this is one of my friends, uh, Alex Downey, made this movie with a couple of his friends. It's called Skip Stones for Fudge. And I'm going to let you guys watch the trailer, and that'll tell you all. These are my practice rocks and they're very high quality. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, it's buffering. It, it's coming, it's coming. We can always reload the page. 
All right, we're rel we're, we're reloading. <laughs> we're reloading. Okay. All right. Any time now. Okay, let's okay. try it this time. Okay. These are my practice rocks, and they're very high quality. Four hundred pounds a shot times five. Yeah, we probably pick up a ton of stones a year. It never occurred to me through all my childhood that anybody would try to skip a number of skips, a lot of skips. You know, the numbers were 20s. 20 was a huge skip. Kurt did a 40 in a competition. My mention came out in the 50th anniversary golden edition. He skipped the stone 40 times, and then you just got me this like, well, hell, if he could do it, I could do it. This is a sanctioned event to try to break the Guinness Book of World Records. Now, I thought we were having a friendly competition. Now he's got the world record. They've been going back and forth for over a decade. I have something extra yet to do for stone skipping. 10 national and international skippers will compete, including last year's champion, Max Top Gun Steiner. I have sent a skip into Guinness right now, and they're, they're reviewing it. We may have a new Guinness record. <laughs> Good luck, my friend. You don't try to set the world record until what you're presenting is the best you really feel you could ultimately be. Competition's good, and, and if that brings out the best in them, I'm all for that. But I've never had the world record taken away from me. You know, is it possible? And if it is, you know, I'll definitely give it a try. How does it feel when you say you're going to do something and then you do it? That'll be at the Wilma Theater at 9 o'clock tomorrow night. Wow. Yeah, pretty cool. 9.30, <laughs> 9.30 at the Wilma. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Friday, flagship Friday, give us some context. What's going on? All right. So in the high stakes world of hoverboarding, Ooh. there is only one guy who can save everybody from themselves, and that is Hoverboard Cop. And without further ado, here is a Hoverboard car Cop starring the kids from Hellgate High School's flagship program. They all need to be deshelled. I don't like shelled pistachios. Keep moving. I got him, Chief. Book him. How many times do I have to tell you I'm the Chief? I do not do the booking. Oh, sorry, Chief. It's been a long day. How could it have been a long day? You can't, you don't even walk. This hoverboard program is out of control. Hold on, Chief. My productivity has gone up way higher than last time. I don't care about your productivity. I need real cops out there, not you children lollygagging in the street. Uh, can I just go now? Shut, Shut up. up! And another thing, why do you keep losing partners? Oh, uh, just because they can't keep up with this. No more solo copping. Now, your partner is Vixen Vixen. I'm so excited to work Whoa, with you. 
Where'd you come from? I was here the whole time. Uh, I don't want a partner. You're gonna have a partner. It's gonna be Vixen Vixen. Or else you're out of here, Buster. Uh, seriously? Like, I don't need a partner. This is stupid. Wait a minute. Where'd the perk go? I'm on it! Okay, then. Or you're gonna have a partner, whether you like it or not. Uh, I don't wanna... Now stop acting like a baby and go, because I have a conference call with my piano teacher, and just come back whenever... Just don't mess with me. Okay, bye. the perp this time. Oh, it's fine. He didn't even do anything wrong. When do you think I'll get my hoverboard? You gotta earn it. But until then, stay out of my way. Oh, what a beautiful sunny day, right, son? Yeah, this is great, Dad. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Who's that guy in the, uh, the black hoverboard? Oh, oh. What's that? Oh my god! Oh my god. Stand, stand back! Stand back! Stand back. Stand back. <laughs> I almost got him! I almost got him! I was so close, yet... Wasn't so close. Huh? I saw the man with the black hoverboard who killed my father. That's terrible! I know, right? I don't know if I'll ever be able to catch you. I know that's terrible. Wait, hold that thought. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hold on, I should probably put this on speaker. <laughs> You'll never catch me. Not with your blue hoverboard. You turd! Don't call me a turd. Hoverboard guy. More like hoverboard boy. You'll never find me! Well, I have a particular set of skills. Yeah, it's called Caller ID. I must have my revenge. Good luck, hoverboard kid. Sorry about your phone. It's okay. I've been looking for you for a long time now. No more talk, let's fight. Prepare to die like your father. <laughs> that punch is no match for my gun. <laughs> I took your clip out while I punched you. I can fight you without my gun. Don't worry, I'll, I'll be back in a second. Where'd you come from? I've been here the whole time. 
Okay. I just helped you defeat your rival person. Oh, okay then. Well, you know what? I think this is going to be a great partnership. So there your, was your flagship Friday video of the week. So funny. It's that was ridiculous. so funny. I think that that was my favorite one yet. It's so funny. That yeah. was great. I love those hoverboards. Yeah, you gotta watch out in the high stakes world in a high stakes world of hoverboarding. You really do. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but of course, if you want to find out more information about Wicca Missoula and watch all your flagship Friday videos of the week, you can log on to our website, wickamissoula.wix.com slash wickamissoula. So nice for me to spell it out twice. You can look at our past uh, episodes, our uh, specialty videos from our uh, Saturday drop-ins. Our and, interviews. Yep. yep. You could like us on Facebook. You could follow us on our Twitter page, um, <laughs> at Wake Up Missoula. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can check us out on Facebook, and to find out more about us, you can just look at our website, MCAT.org. Yep. And if you are interested in being a part of our animation drop-in, you have to be age uh, 9 to 13, and it's $10. It's from 1 to 5 mm -hmm. every Saturday. Yep. And it's great. And kids get to learn some stop animation techniques. And we cap our camp at 15 kids. So if you want your child to be in there, just show up right at one. We don't do pre-registration mm -hmm. or sign-ups or anything. You just come on by. So, 10 bucks. thanks for joining me on this Friday. Um, go see a documentary. There's a lot of great documentaries happening. And uh, for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. And also for Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noelle McAvoy. Here's Asaph Adonai. Mm -hmm.